Virgo. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Ritnika and you have reached Natural Vibrations. This is your October general and love messages. If you, these are general, so may not resonate with everyone. So just take what resonates. And if you guys like what I do, please do subscribe to my channel. That would help me I to grow this channel and do more readings for everyone. You can book private readings with me. All details are in the description box below. All right, so let's see what's in store for Virgo in the month of October. There's a lot happening this month. Mercury retrograde two full moons, Halloween, <laughs> my birthday. <laughs> We've got a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Hello, Virgo. General message. Baby. Come on. Okay. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. You are good enough and believe in the impossible. Okay. So Virgo, what I'm getting is that in the month of October, there are a couple of different things going on. A time to give rather than take is talking about how you need you know, you need to kind of start doing more for other people rather than just thinking about yourself. I feel there's a part of you that doesn't feel that you're good enough, that doesn't feel that you're worthy enough to get anything and everything that you want. Uh, and the universe is saying a good way to kind of tackle that is by being of service to other people. When you try to help, you know, when you feel low about yourself, try to uplift other people. And when you do that, it will have a magical um, effect on you because it will start making you feel good about yourself as well. So the universe is saying that, uh, you know, even though you may be feeling, you know, un not very good about yourself, that's okay. Go ahead and do things for other people, the whatever little you can, because even a little goes a long way. They're also telling you, you need to start looking at the bigger picture. Uh, maybe you're looking at things from a very myopic, very small point of view where you're like, okay, this needs to happen. And if this doesn't happen, um, this defines who I am and my self-worth and blah, blah, blah. And the universe is saying that that is not how this works. You need to start looking at things from a big, you know, a different point of view, from an overall point of view, just because something small isn't working or just because something, um, you don't, you don't feel successful in a small aspect of your being doesn't mean in the long run you are not being successful that you haven't been able to get far because in the overall picture you could be doing well maybe just a small aspect is not happening right now also is telling you to believe in the impossible and the universe is saying that have faith you know you've been feeling a little low about yourself you've been doubting yourself you've been feeling as if you're not good enough and the universe is saying that just because you can't see things right now doesn't mean they're not capable of happening the way you want them to happen. They're telling you, you need to start, um, you know, believing in the impossible, believing in magic, believing in the universe, because anything and everything is possible. All right. And just cause you can't see it right now, maybe you're not looking at it from the right point of view. You need to look at it from a bigger, you know, a different, a broader point of view. We've got music and leadership. The universe is saying that right now you need to be a leader in your life. This could be you trying to take the lead in uh, helping other people, going after your dreams. Don't let self-doubt and self-esteem uh, issues come in the way. Maybe you think you're very confident, but there's a part of you that doesn't believe you're capable of achieving certain things because they're not happening. And the universe is saying you got to be a leader when it comes to all of this. Uh, don't back down. Stay strong. You know, stay on your path and things will work itself out. Music could be very important for some of you. Some of you may work in music. For others, you, music helps you kind of stay focused, stay calm. I feel for uh, music is also about working in harmony with your higher self, working in harmony with others. So the universe is saying that... Um, as you kind of take the lead and you become this leader and you do things for other people, 
uh, you will find that harmony and balance within just you know work on that work on figuring out what makes you happy and you know even if you have very little even if you feel you're not doing much you know the more you do for others the better it will be for you in the long run so let's see Let's look at Virgo's love life. Okay, now. Again, you know, it's so weird. Something was biting me in another video, but there's nothing here. I don't understand what keeps randomly biting me. I wonder if there's like a cob cobweb under the table. Huh. All right. We have got hope. Aw. Love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Yep. And choose loving thought. So self-worth is definitely a, a pattern that's coming up. Uh, this is affecting your love life as well. Maybe you've lost hope. Maybe you don't think you're good enough. Maybe you don't think anybody will ever love you the way you want to be loved uh, or understand you or get you the way you want them to understand you and get you. Uh, the universe is saying love is yours. You are worthy of love and you got start. You need to start being more loving towards yourself. The words that you use use the thoughts that you think all of that shape our reality so if you're going to be thinking things like oh i don't nobody even if you joke about it oh no one's ever going to find me attractive or no one's going to you know be with me or whatever the hell it is uh that's not going to help you uh, attract you know what you want melchizedek melchizedek i can't say that higher learning you are you have learned from experience more inner study is now required to further progress. So there's a lot of internal work happening with you. Uh, you've been definitely working on yourself. You've been trying, you know, everything that happens in life, good, the bad, the ugly, all of that is, happens to teach us lessons. That's why we're here on this planet, right? We're not born to like go to work, pay taxes, you know, and all of that crap. I mean, that's part of it, but that's not why we were born. Um, we're here to learn lessons. We're here to evolve our soul uh, evolution happens you know in our life in our journey throughout this life and or maybe multiple lifetimes if that's what you believe um, either which way the universe is saying that you have come a long way you have learned a lot and you know there's still some more work that left that needs to be done and you're on the right path all right just have hope you've got Freya phases and cycles there is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. So maybe something ended in the near future, in the near past, sorry. Maybe you were trying to, you know, a relationship ended for you. Maybe, um, maybe you were hoping for something to happen in your love life, but it didn't pan out. And that's making you feel like nobody would ever want you or things are never going to work out for you. And the universe is saying that these are all cycles. Every time something ends, something new, you know, begins. Uh, they kind of, uh, you know, see through the illusions. You want, they want you to see through the illusions because ending and beginnings and uh, timelines, these are all illusions, right? Time is an illusion. And just because something has ended now does not mean that something new isn't about to begin. Charity. Prayer and contemplation. Connect with the heavens and ask, ask and you shall receive. And then we've got call, Commander Ashtar. Call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. So we've got two elements coming in. One is about going within and asking the universe to help you. Uh, whether you believe in God, universe, Yoda, whatever you believe in. They, you know, energy. The universe always has your back. And what uh, they're telling you is that now is the time to ask the universe for what you truly want excuse me <clears throat> a lot of times we go chasing after things which are not good for us because we don't think that we could ever get what it is that we truly want all right and we try to settle for less and the universe is saying that now is not the time for you to do that now is the time for you to realize that you can start something new so you have to figure out first and foremost, 
what kind of partner do you really want if you are already coupled maybe you want the relationship to go in a better way in a certain direction ask yourself what is it that i want out of this relationship where do i see my happily ever after and then ask the universe pray um talk to the universe tell them what it is that you want and then the universe is saying you got to take the lead you know you got two cards about leadership and this is telling me that you need you know you may say you want a lot of things but then you don't really take actions towards it now how the universe works is they present you with opportunities but it's up to you because of free will is up to you if you really take you know use those opportunities for your highest good if you're not going to take this further if you're not going to actually uh, walk through the doors that the universe opens for you then you're not going to get anywhere all right that's how law of attraction works it's not magic in that sense you set your intention your energy aligns with what you want the universe presents you opportunities but then it's up to you free will up to you to walk through those doors and that's what the universe is telling you that right now you need to start talking the talk walking the walk you need to start um, going after what it is that you want or you say you want right love life Virgo. yeah see there is a rebirth something new is about to begin all right whether it's with one person whether it's in general in your love life whatever it is something is about to begin but things are you know you need to kind of balance your energy out whatever you're doing you got to do things in moderation uh there is a rebirth coming but you and you have to have hope you can't see the bigger picture yet but the biggest and you got to believe in the impossible that's what is telling you you can't see everything right now you don't know how beautifully the universe is going to unfold this journey for you right so the universe is saying you don't have all the pieces you don't know everything you got to see things from a bigger point of view and you got to think that you're worthy enough to have everything whether there's abundance whether there's money whether there's love whatever it is that you want all right you're getting um, admit your mistake we are fully aware of where we went wrong in our intentions and reactions even if we don't act upon it be honest with yourself and it will help the universe to keep you safe so maybe up till now you you know you did things in a way that didn't serve your highest purpose right maybe you were hoping maybe you tried to make certain things work relationships money work whatever it is and it wasn't the right path right maybe you failed every failure is a lesson all right every ending is a lesson and the universe is saying it's okay it's okay to be like yep yeah, i screwed up i shouldn't have done that or maybe what i did was wrong or maybe i acted from fear or i acted from um lack of self esteem and i went ahead and did something that i probably shouldn't have done that's okay you know we all make mistakes we none of us are perfect you have it's first step is admitting to yourself that yeah i screwed up i'm human but i've learned from it and i i want to make wiser and better decisions in the future prioritize your life invest energies with the right intentions to create right manifestation in your life sometimes the most attached relationships can create distraction from your journey exactly you need to be very clear on what it is that you want out of life maybe you're getting swayed by other people maybe you're getting swayed by family by ex exes by maybe you want to achieve something in your work life and you're getting swayed by your love life whatever it is this doesn't mean you can't have it all of course you can but you have to be very clear in what it is that you want you know it could i'm going to give you an example say you want to have that perfect partner and you are telling the universe this is the kind of partner i want who respects me who wants this who does this but then at the same time you're like oh but i'll hook you know fool around with my ex or i'll get swayed and maybe i'll think that maybe i'm going to spend some time with them then you're kind of giving off this energy that oh i want through love but i know but i'm also kind of swaying around with somebody who i know is not the one for me for example i'm just very random example so you got to be very clear on where you want to go and invest your energies there and lastly 
gratitude. Virgo, in the month of October, it is important for you to be grateful for how far you've come, all right? It is not about thanking the universe. It's about fully receiving and utilizing the abundance that the universe is bringing for you for your personal growth. Everything that is happening is happening for your highest good. And you need to start being grateful, you know, start being grateful for all the lessons, start being grateful for everything good that happens. Wake up in the morning and tell the universe, I'm thank you so much for giving me a roof over my head, for allowing me to eat the food I eat, whatever it is that you want to be thankful for. That changes your energy. The more we are grateful, the more we get things to be grateful for. All right, Virgo, I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye.